Hey, Rusty. Hey, Joe. How you doing? I'm all right, man. So, so, so instead of talking about the food after we eat, let's go ahead and talk about while we're eating. Let's here. talk about this food. We are at Spaghetti Warehouse. This yeah. amazing um, spaghetti, spaghetti, where, spaghetti, spaghetti, spaghetti Warehouse is located where? Uh, it's in Philadelphia on Spring Garden Street. It is a giant old warehouse furniture store, or whatever. It's been converted into a literally giant restaurant. It's, it's huge. It could seat like hundreds of people. So in keeping with the theme of the giant restaurant, we, we were hungry. We got here a little later than we planned. We were starving. So we said, we'll go to Spaghetti Warehouse. Let's see what they have to offer. They have the giant Italian feast for two, the ultimate Italian feast for two. So we got that. You know, it used to be, used to fill this used plate. Used to fill this whole plate. All right, so sausage over here we got? we got some ravioli. Ravioli. That was spaghetti. Mm -hmm. This is still lasagna. We haven't even touched the lasagna. We haven't gotten to the lasagna yet. Uh, there was we, sausage on either side of it. Yeah, link sausage like this. Hold on. Bow. Um, uh, over here was chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan, which is amazing. Oh my god, it's so good. And there was garlic bread on either end. Oh yeah, yeah. So, on. so it was just, oh, you know, before we had this meal. Oh yeah, this is a little bread loaf. Kind of yeah. like they give you at Outback Steakhouse, uh -huh. but it was like um, white Italian bread, and it comes with garlic butter. It's delicious. So over there is a trolley car, or is that what it would be? Uh, yes. Yeah. An entire can, trolley car that you can eat in. Hollowed out, and it has tables in it, so you can eat in there. Um, yeah. So this food is really good. It's uh, we were super hungry when we got here. And I have to be honest with you, I'm starting to get really full. We haven't even touched the design yet, which is apparently amazing. 15 layers. Yeah, it's 15 layers. That's, that's a lot of layers. That's more floors than most buildings have. Mm -hmm. I just noticed inside the uh, trolley car, they have a TV. Yep, I think it's one of I can't see that in. So yeah, they have a, apparently they have a ballroom, and you can't really see it, but I'm going to turn it anyway. It's over there. Over there somewhere. There's like a giant ballroom area where they have dinner theater, according to Rusty. He could be lying, I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, they got this giant meal. And it's kind of amazing. They also play really weird music here. So, like, they had Frank Sinatra, and then it was Fergie, and then maybe some old Italian song, like sung in Italian. Like the 1930s or something. And now it's the Gavin DeGraw, and he's talking about what he doesn't want to be. Yeah. Um, so this entire meal, this giant Italian feast that we're... Working our way through as best we can. I guess. Between us. How much do you think that would cost? $40. That sounds about right. Yeah. Except it's not. What? $25. Doesn't make any sense. The food must be tainted. Tainted with deliciousness. So, what are you trying now? Uh, spaghetti. How is the spaghetti? It's good. It is good. It's like a chunky, uh, rustic chunky style tomato sauce. Yeah, sauce. It's good. Sausage is really good. Sausage is handmade here. They twist it and everything themselves. Chicken parmesan is like a giant chicken breast. It's fantastic. Oh, it was really good. It was really good. It's not like all breading in the crap. No. Everything even has their own sauce. Like We're going to tackle sauce. this next, though. Yeah, that mountain of 15 layer lasagna. It's already got a flag. Italy's already claimed it. We're going to have to take that flag out and conquer it ourselves. Boom. Whose is it now? Ours. Oh my, God. look at that. He put his mouth all up inside the middle of the lasagna, everybody. Right in the middle, guys. That's not good, Rusty. Oh, did you tell him about the butter? Yeah, the butter's got garlic in it. That's really and good. And herbs and stuff. It's delicious butter. It's so good. Oh, look at these cups. These cups are huge. Oh, big old giant cup of coke. <laughs> look at these compared to Rusty's head. They're bigger than Rusty's head. That's pretty big. They could pour it on Rusty's head. But I can't, not really. I wouldn't do that to him. Okay, so we're here at Spaghetti Warehouse. They have a, a miniature arcade upstairs and a pinball game downstairs. And Rusty's playing. He's using Wolverine. And why are you using Wolverine, uh, Rusty? Well, here's the thing. Um, the joystick doesn't work at all. So that, I'm using Wolverine because that's the only person I could pick. And I can't make him actually move, so... I mean, I can't block. Boss just beat you the first round. Yeah, he beat me pretty bad. Wow. Well, see, those moves have to be blocked. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't work out too well. You want to play again? No, because this side you can't jump. <laughs> the up doesn't work. No, you won one fight on this side. Play I did, two. actually. 
and you came in second on our high on score. Our score list. Oh, Rusty, if you'd have done down the back kick, you'd have gotten a. Uh, See, feeling. I can't do any of those first three movements that they require a joystick that doesn't work. So, would you give this excellent experience a thumbs up? Look at that. Second place, fools. Oh, man. Oh, well. No, wait, I didn't see the thumbs. Right. Yeah! Pinball game's fantastic, though. Yeah, it was good. I got some footage of you doing that. Nice.